kailangan ano examine your conscience <laughs> ano bang ugnayan ng bayan sa NDF? Ang bayan ba, sinasabi natin, siya ang... Ang uh, white area at red area, nagtulungan sila para mapababa ang uh, masa sa kanayunan para pumunta sa... Bakit hindi tayo mag independent Masulo natin yung pera para sa mga membro ma makagawa tayo ng sarili nating livelihood. Tulong kayo or... Nasa times na kayo na feeling nyo, nire-recruit na kayo. I am encouraging you students or kung sino man yung nanonood na. Again, it's gonna be the task of school leaders, uh, the government, the, L the LGU itself. Magandang umaga po sa ating lahat at welcome po ulit sa isa na namang webinar na hatid sa inyo ng 8 o 2nd Brigade. Pero ito po ay kaliwasan na kagawian natin webinar kung saan may nag-lecture po no? to, sa atin patungkol sa mga atrocities o mga modus ng CPPNPA. Katulad na lamang ng pag-recruit na ng kabataan, pagpasok sa ating labor sector at iba pa. Ngayon pong araw na ito, tayo naman po ay or tatalakay natin ang peace and security dito po sa probinsya ng Biliran, Leyte at Southern Leyte. Na nakagawian din po natin na meron po tayong isang uh, um, local chief executive o isang uh, honorable mayor na magbigay naman po ng updates patungkol sa, sa pag-i-implement nila ng LCAC sa kanilang lugar. Pero sa kasamaang palad, dahil po sa Mukhang uh, napakaraming appointment ng ating mayor ay hindi po siya makakadalo sa ating webinar ngayong umaga. Pero makakasama naman po natin ang uh, iba't ibang mga representatives ng mga provincial police office at city police office dito po sa ating area of responsibility. Ayan. Sila po yung magbibigay sa atin ng updates patungkol sa peace and security na meron po dito sa ating lugar. Especially nga na medyo malapit na po ang eleksyon at dahil kasama rin po sa peace and security, pati kung paano po nila minimitigate ang COVID o ang pag-observe uh, pag ng minimal or minimum COVID protocol dito po sa ating lugar. Kasama nga po natin mula sa Leyte Provincial Police Office, si Police Lieutenant Colonel Margarito Salanyo, sir. Good morning po, sir. Kasama rin po natin mula sa Biliran Provincial Police Office si Police Staff Sergeant Stephen Tabuyan Good morning po sa inyo Mula naman po sa Southern Leyte Provincial Police Office si Police Lieutenant Colonel Vincent Bollie Good morning sir at mula sa Tacloban City Police Office, si Police Major Alan T. Kansin. Sir, good morning po sa inyo lahat. Pinapaalalahanan ko po kayo na meron po kayo 10 to 15 minutes para po magbigay ng peace and security updates sa ating lugar. Pagkatapos po niyo magbigay ng peace and security updates, ay magkakaroon po tayo ng open forum kung saan amin po kayong tatanungin kung ano po ba yung makakaibang implementation niyo or makakaibang mga pangyayari sa inyong lugar na nagdulot para um, ang peace and security ay medyo mabulabog po sa inyong era of responsibility. Ayan, unahin na po natin ang uh, peace, security, peace and security updates. Diba? Bago po natin na... Uh, Um, pakinggan na ang peace and security updates na ating mga participants ay atin po, tayo po muna ay yumuko at manalangin na agad naman ding susundan ng pag-awit ng ating uh, national anthem.
Ayan tayo po ay muling nagbabalik ito po sa ating programa kung saan ihatid po namin sa inyo ang peace and security updates ng ating mga probinsya dito po sa Biliran. Um, muli po namin tinatawagan ang representative po mula sa Leyte Provincial Police Office, Police Lieutenant Colonel Margarito Salano, sir. Sir, good morning po, sir. Uh, good morning, ma'am. Yes, sir. Sir, ano po yung or ano po yung state po ng peace and security natin dito po sa probinsya ng Leyte? Okay, ulit ma'am. Okay, ulit. Kamusta naman po, sir, yung peace and security natin dito po sa probinsya ng Leyte? Actually, ma'am, uh, general peace po naman. Mag Mag-present pa ba ako, ma'am? Mag-present ako. Meron ako kasi yung presentation para lubos na maunawaan. Yes, Hello, sir. Copy, sir. Hello, ma'am. Yes, sir. Sir, loud and clear po, sir. Pwede na po kayo mag-present, sir. Okay, sige. Pag-present ako. Sige. Paki-screen, sir. Pwede, ma'am. Okay na? Sige na? Pwede? Ay, ti. Ay, ti. Okay, to all participants of this uh, meeting, uh, present morning to all of us, ma'am, sir. So, allow me to present our briefing presentations on the late PPO peace and order situation and accomplishment reports. Next slide, please. As soon is the sequence of my presentation. So, on criminality situation, for the period uh, from January to August 2021, the total crime incident is recorded at 1,352 incidents comprises of peace and order index with 910 incidents and public safety index with 442 incidents. Peace and order index is an index which categorizes I'll categorize the crime of incident that reflected the true pictures of crimes and public safety index is an index which categories the incidents and culpable felonies that reflected in the public safety situation. Um, incidents and culpable felonies that uh, reflected the public safety situation of a particular community. Next slide. <clears throat> On the breakdown of peace and order index, out of 910 incidents reported, 184 are index crime, while 726 are non-index crimes. Next slide, please. On average monthly claim, crime peace and order index posted at 6.8 per 100,000 population. Likewise, the average monthly public safety index recorded at 3.3 per 100,000 population. Next slide, please. At the largest, uh, as the largest province in the Eastern Visayas with 40 municipalities and one city, the average monthly crime rate for the period covered from January 1 to August 31, 2021 
Liti PPO recorded at uh, 10.11 per 100,000 population, which is lower compared to the other PPOs and CPOs, except SLPPO posted at 9.61. Uh, next slide, please. On comparative average monthly, monthly face and order index crimes, comprising both index crimes and non-index crimes. Liti PPO posted at 6.80 per 100,000 population, which is the lowest as compared to the other PPOs and CPOs. Next slide, please. On the other hand, on comparative average monthly public safety index crimes comprises the total totality a vehicular uh, incident and other quasi offenses punishable under the revised penal code. The Liti PPO recorded at 3.30 per 100,000 population, which is lower as compared to other PPOs and CPOs, except SL PPO and BPO posted at 1.15 and 3.16 respectively. Next slide, please. On operational accomplishment. Next slide, next slide. <clears throat> Little people, in coordination with the Philippine Drug Enforcement Agency, conducted a total of about 130 police operations, which resulted in the arrest of 146 and two died in a police police operation. The confiscation of 300. 29.35 grams of shabu and 20.28 grams of marijuana with estimated dangerous drug board value a total of 2,319,479.8 pesos. <clears throat> Subsequently, a total of 281 cases filed in court. Next slide, please. On campaign against illegal lagging, illegal camping, a total of 390, which resulted in 870 The confiscation of 180,985 pesos worth of amount of bit money and 310 cases filed in court. On campaign against illegal drug logging, okay. <clears throat> in coordination with the DNR, a total of 36 uh, police operations, which resulted in the arrest of 59 personalities, uh, the confiscation of 23,334.45 board fit of forest product, and saving chinso with an estimated worth a total of 1,308,984.4 pesos per product. A total of 27 uh, referred to DNR and uh, nine cases filed in court. On campaign against illegal fishing in coordination with the BFAR or Bante Dagat, a total of 207 police operation, which resulted in the arrest of 515 personalities. The confiscation of 46 pine misnet, 17 active girl, and 219 fishing boat, with an estimated worth of total 9,999,080 pesos confiscated item. 27 cases filed in court and 220 administratively meted fine. On campaign against uh, lost firearms, a total of 319 police operations which resulted in the arrest of 33 personalities. 42 lost firearms confiscated and 315 lost firearms surrendered, recovered. 26 filed in court. Next slide. On accomplishment on arrest of wanted person, 
a total of 1,128 police operation, which resulted in the arrest of 130 most wanted person. At the six provincial uh, level, six city level, and 88 municipal level. And 1,557 other wanted persons arrested for that. For a total of 1,287 wanted persons arrested. On ISO accomplishment, an LCAC strategic Native Provincial Police Mobile <coughs> conducted a total of 661,000 preventive patrol, 33 minor combat operations, and 16 major combat operations. A total of 1,983 number of violations. Pulong Pulong, Barangay Visitation, School and other related activities conducted. 681 and press releases, 34 radio program attended, 12,076 social media, 4,596 text messaging, and 1,288 IEC distribution conducted with 64,150 IEC material distribution. Okay. On the other hand, our other significant uh, accomplishment for the period from January 1 to August 31, 2021, one member of the communist terrorist group was arrested. 18 surrendered to Liti PPO and a total of 15 various firearms confiscated surrendered. Other uh, significant accomplishment. Liti PPO adjudged as the best police provincial office for the two consecutive years. 119 police service anniversary, which celebrated on August 20, 2020, and 128th police service anniversary which celebrated on September 27, 2021 at Pro-8 Grandstand, Camp Kangleon, Paloliti, with the leadership of Police Colonel Rodelio C. Samson, Provincial Director of Liti PPO. <clears throat> Liti PPO also awarded as the best police provincial strategy and management unit for the regional 128th Police Service Anniversary Celebration on September 27, 2021 at Police Regional Office 8, Camp Kangleon, Paloliti. Police Lieutenant uh, Colonel uh, Jumin Piculiado, COP of Bye Bye, and uh, Bye Bye City Police Station, top two special award and nation, nationwide as best implementer of the community and service oriented policing. Among all different police stations awarded during the 27 National Crime Prevention Week celebration of Napolcom on September 3, 2021. On 26 uh, <clears throat> Community Relations Month of July 2021, <laughs> Provincial Director Liti PPO, Chief of Police of Haro Municipal Police Station, and Chief PIO. Picaro received an award as Best Police Provincial Office, Best Municipal Police Station, and Best Junior Police Commission Officers, respectively. <clears throat> bye Bye City Police Station awarded as the cleanest city police station nationwide for the implementing and outstanding compliance to the intensified cleanliness policy, particularly cleanliness and orderliness in the workplace that immensely contributed to the further boost the image of the PMP organization and gain the trust and confidence of the community during Police Community Affairs and Development Group's anniversary on 29 July 2021 at Cranny, Quezon City. Police Colonel Rodilio C. Samson, Provincial Director, awarded as the best community and uh, service-oriented policing implementer during the visit of the Chief PMP at Bye Bye City on July 22, 2021. 
on our assessment. Next slide. The province ability remains generally peaceful. As evidence is the lower of uh, average monthly index crime rate due to the strict implementation of enhanced managing police operation through maximum utilization of available human and logistical resources and LGU supports. And further, sustained effort in the campaign against illegal drugs and wanted person, including the enforcement of other special laws, resulted to the arrest of more personalities involved in various illegal activities, likewise contributed to the lower average monthly peace and order index crime. On our report, prepare for the peaceful conduct of local and national elections 2022, strengthen enforcement of traffic laws and local municipal ordinances in order to reduce road traffic deaths and injuries. Sustain aggressive operations in the campaign against illegal drugs, arrest unwanted persons, and law enforcement on other special laws. Continue the conduct of growth and area security to delivery of vaccine and to include COVID-19 vaccination centers in Leyte. Continue linkages and collaboration with the MP counterparts and other government agency for the surrenders of CPP MP members and militia ng bayan. That's end my presentation. Damo nga salamat, Mama and Sir. Sir, salamat po sir at maya maya lamang po sir after po ng presentation ng lahat ng mga police officers natin ay eh magkakaroon po tayo ng isang open forum kung saan kami po o kayo po mga participants mismo at ating mga viewers ay magtatanong po sa inyo with regards po sa ating peace and security sa ating mga lugar. Sunod naman po ang Biniran Provincial Police Office na nirepresent po ni Police Staff Sergeant Stephen Tabuyan. Good morning po sir. Sir, good morning po sir from Biliran Provincial Police Office. Uh, good morning po, ma'am. Yes, sir. Uh, uh, in behalf po ni Police Lieutenant Colonel Lulibet and Morillo, our Chief Picadio, I am Police Staff Sergeant Stephen Stabuyan, the Senior Action Pain CO of Biliran Police Provincial Office. So... Sir, pwede niyo na pong simulan, sir, ang presentation niyo po. Yes, ma'am. Um, screen share, share. Okay na ba niyo? Kasa. <laughs> Okay. So, sequence of my presentation. Okay. The sequence of my presentation are as follows. The peace and order situation, the operational accomplishment, 
assessment and way forward. The, the peace and order situation or peace and order index. The total crime volume reported from January 2021 to August 2021 is recorded at 244 incident and having a decrease of 52 incident or 18% lower as compared to 296 incident in the same period for the previous years. Out of 244 crime volume, for this period, 26 are index crime, which is a decrease of 24 incident or 48%, lower than the previous years, having a 50 index crime. Likewise, there is a there are 218 non index crime as of this period, incident or 11% lower as compared to the period last year, which was 246. The public safety index reported from the January 2021 to August 2021 is recorded 49 incident and having a decrease of each incident or 14% lower as compared to the 57 incident of the same period for the previous years. The public safety index for this period, six, reckless imprudence resulting to homicide, which equates slight increase of one incident or 17% higher. The reckless imprudence resulting to physical injury, 30, which is decrease to 11 incident or 27% lower as compared to the same period of the last year, which was 41. The 13 reckless imprudence to damage the property, which is increased to two incident or 15% higher as compared to the same period of last year, which, is, which was 11. The crime solution efficiency and the crime clearance efficiency Biliran PPO recorded 244 total crime volume and 207 in which were promptly solved that translate to 84% crime solution efficiency as compared to the same period of last year, which was 94%. The 244 cases that were cleared for the period in review which equates to 100% crime clearance efficiency and same percentage output of last year. On average monthly crime rate and average monthly index crime rate from January 2021 to August 2021, the average monthly crime rate is 16.32 per 100,000 populations, which had decreased by 3.47 as compared to the same period of last year, which was 19.79. Likewise, the average monthly index crime rate for the period is pegged at 1.73 per 100,000 population, which is 1.71 lower than the 3.44 average monthly index crime rate of the same period of previous years. On the eighth focus crime from January 2021 to August 2021, 
the crime against person and crime against property were notably decreasing as the result of effective enhanced managing political operation interventions and other anti-criminality strategy implemented by this office. The decrease of 148 crime incident of 65% lower of Biliran province was attributed with effective crime prevention strategy instituted by this office and implementation of GPNP trust program, the intensified cleanliness policy and peace and order in the province of Bilira is generally peaceful. Sustain the implementation of revitalized Factor Plan 101 and in the enhanced managing police operation Police intervention to reduce occurrence of crimes in the province of Biliran. Constant coordination with other law enforcement agencies and the community in the campaign against criminality, and to include also the present situation, the COVID 19 crisis. Intensifying aggressive operation against loose firearms in the province especially now that the national and local election 2022 is fast approaching. And strengthen security measures to support areas, province, in coordination with naval port personnel, coast guard and mobilization of his ops and other force multipliers for the information gathering to prevent the entry of lawless elements, the CTGs, and potential pubs. The implementation of high impact projects, the Oplan Serrano, that dubbed as a secured environment to bolster economic growth and development to create vibrant environment, provide excellent police service to its constituents, our responsibility of the police to its mandated tasks and functions, and A, instill accountability as public office is a public trust, and to enhance networking with the local government units and other law enforcement agencies and to continue the community itself and all organized responsive police approach to come up with positive results. And the para aling police, a project for women and children to listen to rape cases and abuses involving minors it is prevalent in Bilirang province. Again, this is the highlights of the partnership with the EFP and the PNP in promoting and to support the National Task Force, LCAP. The distributions of suppliers to promote, uh, to support the NTF LCAP, the coordinating council meeting, especially during the same routine bike for peace and justice with the partnership with uh, first lieutenant ma'am janice Obao, the philippine army cmo efp and a coordinating uh, meeting with the philippine army so that's all dekhan salamat Thank you.
Um, um, mula po sa representative ng Southern Leyte Provincial Police Office, Police Lieutenant Colonel Vincent Vol, yes, sir. sir. Atagin niyong mic, sir. Hello, ma'am. Good morning. Good morning po, sir. Sir, kamusta naman po ang peace and security ng inyong lugar? Pwede niyo po bang i-present po sa ating mga manonood, sir, kung kamusta na po ang Southern Leyte? Yes, ma'am. I may, mean, ma'am. Can I present, ma'am, uh, the peace and order situation of the Southern Leyte, ma'am? Yes, sir. I will present, ma'am. Yes, sir. Hello ma'am, uh, nakikita na po ma'am yung sa screen ma'am, yung share screen ko ma'am. Uh, hello ma'am, good morning ma'am. Uh, nakikita na po ma'am yung nasa screen ma'am yung presentation ko po ma'am. <coughs> Hello ma'am, good morning ma'am. Uh, nakikita po na ba ma'am yung presentation ko po ma'am? Yes sir, nakikita po sir. Uh, thank you ma'am, uh, good morning to everyone. Uh, to the head of the offices of the representative of different PPOs. A pleasant morning to everyone. I am Police Lieutenant Colonel Vicente S. Police Jr., the Chief of Police Community Affairs and Development Unit of Southern Lady Police Provincial Office, and I'll be representing the peace and security updates of Southern Lady. As shown, ma'am, are the scope of my presentation, which includes the crime situation update, the PNP operational accomplishments, and lastly, assessment, ma'am. Covering the period of January to August 2021, the South SLPPO recorded a total of 422 crime incidents compared to only 418 incidents recorded on the same period of the previous year. Out of the 422 crime incidents recorded from January to August 2021, 379 falls under the peace and order indicators, while 43 falls under the public safety indicator indicators. These are shows a 6.76 increase in peace and order related incidents and a 31.75% increase in public safety related incidents compared to the same period of the previous year. As shown is the breakdown of the peace and order and public safety indicators for index crimes. We have a total of 68 indicating a 15.25 increase compared to the previous year for non-index crimes. We have a total of 311 indicating a 25.07% increase compared to the same period of the previous year. While for the public safety, 
we have recorded a total of 43 indicating a 31.75 decrease compared to the same period of the previous year. On the crime clearance and crime solution efficiency, out of 422 total crime volume, 313 or 74.17% were sold, which is 16.02% lower compared to the previous period. This is because majority of the cases were filed through regular filing procedure. While out, while, while out of 422 crimes reported, 412 or 98% were cleared, posting a decrease of 2% compared to the previous period. Our average monthly crime rate is at 11.49, which is lower of 0.28 compared to the previous period. However, we recorded a 0.19 increase in our average monthly index crime rate compared to the previous period. For our operational accomplishments for the period covered January to August 2021, for the period in review on campaign against illegal logging, a total of 13 anti-illegal logging operations were conducted that resulted to the arrest of 24 persons and confiscation of a total of 3,045.33 board feet of sawn lumber and 1.35 of agar wood with a total estimated market value of 385,313 pesos. All cases were filed in court. On the campaign against illegal fishing, this PPO conducted a total of 399 anti-illegal fishing operations that resulted to the arrest of 501 persons and a total of 11,462,200 pesos estimated worth of confiscated items. All were fined for violation of Municipal Fishery Ordinances. On the campaign against illegal gambling, a total of 101 or 101 anti-illegal gambling operations were conducted, which resulted to the arrest of 324 persons and confiscation of 412,964 pesos cash as bet money and all cases were filed on court. On the accomplishment on loose firearms, uh, I mean, on the accomplishment against wa warranted person, a total of 381 police operations were conducted, which resulted to the arrest of 27 most wanted persons and 370 other warranted persons. On the accomplishment on loose firearms, a total of 15 police operations were conducted, which resulted to the arrest of 12 persons, four died in police operations, a total of 15 firearms were confiscated, and 15 cases were filed in court. Further, 215 firearms were also surrendered or deposited through the conduct of Oplan Katok. On the campaign against illegal drugs, a total of 42 anti-illegal drug operations were conducted, which resulted to the arrest of 39 persons, or died in police operations and confiscation of 606.12 grams of shabu. And 3.71 grams of marijuana and four loose firearms. Further, all 49 cases were filed in court against the suspects. Due to the continuous implementation of the PNP, revitalized station patrol plan and enhanced managing police operations or the EMPO, combined with the proactive support and efforts of our local chief executives, 
the stakeholders and other government agencies and community partners, Southern Leyte remains to be a generally peaceful and safe province. That's all and dagang salamat kanatong tanan. na pinakita sa ating mga viewers at sa ating mga participants. Likewise, gusto ko po kayong inimagit na maya-maya lamang po ay may mga series of questions po kami na tatanungin po sa inyo sa ating open forum. Katulad na lamang po sir kung ano po yung mga paghahanda natin uh, ngayon po nga malapit na po ang filing of candidacy. Maya-maya lamang po sir ay maririnig po namin ng inyong sagot. Tayo naman po ay tumungo sa Tacloban City Police Office Na nirepresent naman po ni Police Major Alan T. Cancina. Sir, good morning, sir. Sir, good morning po, sir. Good morning po ma'am. Uh, it's your screen lang po. Yes sir. Uh, good morning everyone to the participants. Ma'am, ma confirm lang kung nakikita na sa screen po ma'am. Yes sir, nakikita, nakikita na po sir and loud and clear po kayo sir. Uh, thank you ma'am. Uh, for the Cloban City Police Office, uh, we have a peace and security updates. <coughs> Para sa mga participants lahat, once again, good morning and I will be presenting uh, our uh, peace and security updates. So, shown is the general peace and order situation of the Cloban City Police Office. So, <clears throat> we have a total crime incident of 1,101 compared to last year, which is 1,017. Uh, <clears throat> this is a base, this is a serious base documents, and I don't know where lady uh, get the document that Tacloban City has the highest among the cities compared to 40 municipalities in one city. So, next is the Peace and Order Index. So, we have a 370. This, this is January to August 2021 data. So, compared to last year, we have <clears throat> 606. So, we have decrease of 236. And on public safety index, let's include the RIR which is uh, nag-increase uh, nag tayo. We have 731. And uh, for the peace and order crime clearance and crime solution efficiency, for peace and order index, we have 370. So we reduce a 468. And crime clearance efficiency this year, we have 94% compared to last year I we have bumaba tayo but the crime solution efficiency we have 87 percent bumaba rin tayo compared to last year for the public safety index crime clearance and crime solution efficiency we have a 561 the crime clearance efficiency we have 87 percent while crime solution efficiency is 86 percent so this is a comparative statistics on index crimes special laws and non-index crime on crime against person we have an incident of 39 compared to last year that we have 73. And the crime against person, we have recorded 57. And for the last year is 90. And violation of special laws, we have 214 
compared to last year, which is 356. And non-index crime of 43 compared to last year, uh, 73. So this is the comparative statistic on eight focus crime. This is still January to August. Oh, on murder, we have incident of three compared to last year, we have seven. And for the homicide, we have four last year, zero tayo. On physical injury, we have 19, and last year, we have 25. And on rape cases, we have eight incidents compared to last year na masyadong mataas. We have 28 rape incidents. And on robbery, we have only 14 compared to last year, which is 18. And theft <coughs> incident, we have 36 compared to last year, which is 68. And carnapping, we have incident of seven, while last year is only four. And carnapping of motor vehicle is, we have no recorded incident. On internal security operation accomplishment, uh, on major combat operation, we have 12. Minor combat operation, we have three, 23. And on preventive patrol, we have 1,070 community forums in Pusha. We have 562 barangay visitation. We have 1,118. And on participation in trimedia activities, distribution of IEC materials, we have all, all in all 23,295. And on LCAP related accomplishment and activities. So on the declaration of persona non grata of the CPPNP of the 138 barangays completed tayo, and declared. And the creation of also a barangay task force LCAP completed in tayo. So these are the executive order. <coughs> In relation to executive order number 70, these are the resolution made by all the barangays, the activation of the city task force on LCAC and the persona non grata. Completely 138 barangays. And on community to barangay anihan, <laughs> We have, in support of our regional director, we have number of, and, and the city director of the TCPO, we have number of activities, we have 408, and number of beneficiaries, we have 15,000. Number of partners and collaborators, we have 125, and estimated amount of 220,000. So, for the organization and mobilization of advocacy support groups, we have this, <clears throat> this advocacy group. We have continuous organizing and mobilization of active partner advocacy support groups from the youth the KKDAT, labor, and faith-based sector towards space, peace, and governance, and long-lasting development of the global city. So on a strategic communication information operation, <clears throat> we have number of dialogue, pulong pulong, visitation, school visitation, and other related activities. We have 310. Number of publication, peace releases, we have 32. Television, we have 38. Radio, 588. Internet, 1,095. Messaging, we have 120. And print, <clears throat> number of activities, we have 390. And 
number of IEC materials distributed for a total of 15,600. All materials in IOs are aligned with the whole of nation approach under Executive Order 70 or ICP and tends on intensified cleanliness policy and updated in accordance to the approved themes and messages by the TCPO Information Operations Working Group. So on the Global City Police Office Barangayanihan, whole of nation approach. <clears throat> I have to present the county length. We have two, two minutes presentation for audiovisual presentation of TCPO. I'm going to <laughs> so on the awards and decorate commendations uh, once again, uh, Tacloban City Police Office is the best city police office in Eastern Visayas. During the 120th Police Service Anniversary celebration at Police Regional Office 8, Camp Roberto Canglion Paloliti on September 27, 2021, with Team Hangad na Kalinisan sa Kapulisan, Kapaligiran at Komunidad, Ibayong Gampanan para sa Kapulisang Integridad. Police Colonel Darwin Esmeranda, the City Director, leads the Cloban City Police Office as it is once again recognized to the best city police office in the Eastern Visayas for excellence of performance in the PNP anti-crime strategy enhanced managing police operations that continuously raise the standard of police service. Moreover, units and personnel under TCPO were also awarded as follows. TCPO Police Station 2, lead by Police Major Winrich Lyle Lim, Station Commander as Best City Police Station. 
The Global City Mobile Force Company, led by Police Major Ruel L. Burlat, Force Commander, as Best City Mobile Force, and Police Corporal Maritzo N. Gravillo, CAD PNCO, from TCPO Police Station 1, as Best Junior PNCO in Administration. Also, the Tacloban City Government, led by Mayor Alfred Romaldis, has given a special recognition for its relentless support to the Cloban City Police Office and the whole PNP. These awards were given by Police Lieutenant General Junardo B. Carlos, the Chief Directorial Staff, assisted by Brigadier General Romel Bernardo I. Cabagnot, the Regional Director of Pro A. So, TCPO also stopped six special award nationwide as best implementer of the local community and service oriented policy lead by police colonel miranda the city director was awarded during the webinar is spearheaded by the national police commission and the 27th national crime prevention week technical working committee for the recognition of the local CSOP implementation and best practice on crime prevention during pandemic. So TCPO was named in the circle of six special awards as best implementer for the local CSOP project and crime prevention best practice such as the TCPO care, Lingganay Hantakloban Police, Oplan Sagdon, TCPO's Padjak ng Pangarap, we have TCPO Barangay Anihan and TCPO Empotex Service. So, damo nga, salamat, and please like, follow, and share updates from the TCPO Pro 8 and PNP official Facebook pages. Damo nga, salamat, sir, and maupay nga, udto. Salamat din po sir sa presentation na inihandaan po para sa hulang po para sa amin, kundi pati na rin po sa ating mga viewers at participants po sa ating Zoom. Tayo na po ay tutungo naman sa ating uh, open forum. Uh, sir, tanong lang po namin sir. sa lahat po ng participants natin. Just uh, place your hand lang po kapag gusto nyo pong sumagot sa ating katanungan para mabigyan po kayo ng ano ng oras. Ang unang tanong po natin, Ma'am Sir, is ano po yung uh, ano po yung mga paghahandang ginagawa nyo, especially po ngayon, malapit na po ang filing ng candidacy ng ating mga tatakbo sa elections. May mga special protocol po ba kayong ginagawa? Ano po yung paghahandang ginagawa natin? Uh, Ma'am Sir, umpisahan na lang po siguro po natin for uh, uh, provincial office. Uh, simulan po natin sa late provincial police office. Sir, Lieutenant Colonel Salani, sir. Good morning po. Good morning, sir. Good morning, ma'am. Sir, ano po yung okay. paghahandang ginagawa natin? Uh, kahapon, nagkaroon kami ng uh, weekly oversight committee on uh, <clears throat> enhanced managing police operations. So isa sa mga napag-usapan namin ay yung uh, upcoming uh, <clears throat> October 20 and the national uh, election. At uh, yung election So pinag-usapan namin. So isa sa mga panyaming highlight to na uh, yung upcoming election 2022. So alam namin na base sa mga experience namin, tumataas yung crime rate during the period of election, the election period. So lalo na yung uh, <clears throat> may kinalaman sa baril. So isa sa mga napag-usapan namin na intensify namin yung o plan bakal sita, yung checkpoints. So mag-prepare na sila, mag uh, na establish na ng checkpoints. Uh, at saka yung mga dismantling of uh, private armed groups. So monitor nila yung mga private armed groups. Uh, alam naman natin na yung mga kuha natin sa kabila, isa yan sa mga hanap buhay nila. 
during uh, election period na magpa maging goals ng mga politicians. So yan ang tinitingnan namin, pinapapag-aralan kung paano ito i-counter ng aming opisina. Yan po ma'am sa DTPPO. Mag-usapan nyo rin po ba sir kung paano po bawasan yung mga uh, election related incidents po sa atong lugar? Isa rin yun, isa rin yun ang mga pinupa namin yung mga edition related. Pero as of now, parang tahimik pa. Wala pang uh, mga kwan. Wala pang mga significant incident uh, parte sa mga edition related incident. Sir, sir makakaasa po ba ating mga ano mga residente na probinsya ng Leyte na magkakaroon po tayo ng tahimik at maayos na election sa susunod na taon? Yes ma'am, uh, sinisiguro namin ma'am na yan kasi ang among, aming mandate na siguro din ang safety ng mga tao lalo na sa panahon ng eleksyon sa lahat, safety ng lahat in coordination with our counterparts in Tahiti. So yun po ma'am, so magiging uh, matahimik yung kwa natin during election period. Lastly sir, kapag may napansin po yung mga kababayan natin dito sa Leyte ng mga election related incidents, paano po nila kayo i-contact sir? Meron po ba kayo ang mga local numbers or uh, Facebook page na pwede po nilang i-contact? Yes ma'am, mayroon kami yung mga hotline. So, <clears throat> i-kwalang ko na lang no, yung hotline namin. Uh, ano din yung... <laughs> So ito po yung hotline namin dito sa aking opisina. Ito ay ang 0917-623-5593. So ito po pwede po kami matawagan. So marami po kami bawat opisina kasi dito sa amin, kaya ng operation, ng PCR, ay mayroon kami kanya-kanyang hotline. So <clears throat> pag uh, dami matatawagan, So, iya para ma-answer kagad kung ano man. Pero kadalasan kasi sa aming opisina dumarating ang mga complaint ng mga tao. So, mayroon din kaming uh, Facebook account, ang Police Liti. Uh, pwede din doon, nagkikita din kami doon ng mga uh, questions, suggestions, so, kasagutan sa kanilang mga uh, problema. Yes sir, thank you po sir at nakakaas naman po ang mga resident ng Leyte na magkasaroon nga po tayo ng isang maayos na eleksyon at pati na rin po sa filing po ng kandidasi ngayong October sir. No? Salamat po sir at tayo naman po ay tutungo naman sa Biliran Provincial Police Office. Sir, good morning naman po sir. Uh, good morning din po ma'am. Sir, kamusta naman po sir yung uh, paghahanda naman po natin, katulad naman po natin yung natin sa Leyte Provincial Office, sa upcoming filing naman po ng candidacy ngayong October. May mga uh, protocols po ba kayong susundin para mabawasan po ang mga election-related incidents sa lugar? So, gaya po na mga preparation na ginawa ng other police provincial office, ang um, provincial Kumandin po ang Biliran Police Provincial presided by sa aming uh, Provincial Director, Police Colonel Joel T. Serrano. Uh, ongoing po ang mga coordination with other agencies, uh, mga meetings po, tapos down to Municipal Police Station with coordination din po sa Comelec. para mapaghandaan po at ma-implement ma din po ang, ma ang mga lahat na mga paraan para sa security measure para magkaroon din po tayo ng peace at security uh, preparation para din sa halalan po. Sir, para naman po sir, um... Makakasiguro po ba tayo na ang mga residente po ng Biliran or ang mga tao po doon ay makakaasa na magkakaroon po tayo ng maayos na eleksyon 
Di lang po sa filing kay October, pati po sa susunod na taon dahil sa paghahandang ginagawa ninyo. Uh, yun po ang pinaka main uh, ang gusto naman niyari ng ating provincial command na magkaroon tayo ng peaceful uh, peaceful ngayon sa halalan kasi uh, generally actually peaceful naman talaga itong Biliran province uh, yung Biliran province pero hindi po nagkumpiyansa yung Uh, PNP uh, with the help also sa sa army na ma-maintain po natin ang peace and order dito sa Biliran. Ah uh, itanong ko rin lang po sir no. Um uh, meron po ba tayong mga paghanda na ginagawa? Syempre kapag election po, meron po tayong uh, permit to campaign saka permit to win naman na inaano ng mga terroristang si PNP and NDS. Meron po ba tayong mga paghahanda sa mga extortion activities na pwede po nilang gawin sa ating pong mga politiko? Uh, sa mga ganyan din po, ma'am, uh, nakikoordinate, makikipag-coordinate talaga yung PNP sa mga ganyan mga sitwasyon. Pero so far po, wala naman pong mga ganyan na mga incident based sa mga record namin. Uh, sir, ano, meron po bang mga a hotline sa panintawagan ng ating mga kababayan or Facebook page na uh, pwede po nilang ma-reach out in case na may na-witness po silang ele uh, election-related atrocities po sa inyong lugar. Uh, okay po. Uh, sa lahat po uh, sa nakikinig at saka tumitingin sa live po natin, uh, meron po kaming uh, Facebook page, uh, Biliran Provincial Police. At saka mayroon din kaming FB account, yung Biliran uh, Police Provincial Office. Doon po nakalagay yung mga hotline numbers namin. Uh, you can contact also sa aming hotline. Pakisave po, uh, 0915641. 9144 Ulitin ka lang po 0915 641 So kung may may gusto kayo ipahatid sa aming opisina you can text or you can call sa contact number po namin Yes sir, salamat po sir sa pag-share niyo po ng information regarding po sa peace and security ng Biliran. At syempre po makakaasa ang mga mamamayan ng Biliran na magkakaroon sila ng peaceful elections. Tayo naman po sir ay tutungo sa Southern Leyte Provincial Police Office. Uh, Lieutenant Colonel Bol, yes sir. Good morning po sir. Uh, good morning po ma'am. Yes sir. Sir, ano naman po yung mga paghahandang ginagawa natin po regarding naman po sa election? Uh, filing po ng candidacy ngayon sa Southern Leyte para mapagilan po yung mga election-related atrocities sa lugar. Uh, yes po ma'am. No? Una po ma'am, uh, uh, bukas na po yung filing of candidacy po ma'am, di ba? So yung may mga memo po ma'am na binaba galing sa national headquarters natin na magandak ng simulation exercise sa lahat ng munisipyo ma'am, yung may mga komilik offices nila kasi in case of kwan ma'am, uh, mga hindi natin may iwasan na mga uh, pangyayari. So, yun nga ma'am, pinaghaanda natin kas uh, through simulation exercise. So, lahat ng kapulisan natin dito sa Southern Lake ma'am, ay naghahanda na ma'am sa mga posibleng mga atrocities na mangyayari. Pero so far ma'am, uh, wala naman tayong election-related incidents dito sa Southern Lake PPO ma'am. Again din ma'am, uh, nagi- uh, Sumusunod din tayo sa mga calendar of activities galing sa Comelec, ma'am, sa mga updates, ma'am, or mga ano ba yung pinapalabasin na yung mga resolution regarding kung ano uh, regarding sa election ban, sa so magsisimula yung election na natin next year, at saka yung election period, ma'am. Pwede naman sa extortion activities na pwedeng gawin ng terrorist ng CPP, NPA, NDF sa mga politiko o sa mga taong magpa-file ng candidacy ngayong buwan na October. 
ayun nga ma'am no uh, in relation sa ginagawa nating simulation exercise ng ating mga kapulisan sa mga bawat police station na ma, uh, doon sa mga kumilik offices nila ma'am na maaring yun nga ma'am gawin ng uh, makakaliwang grupo so yun nga ma'am meron din tayong mga checkpoints na sa lahat ng police station na regular naman na kinakandak so with that ma'am yun nga ma'am yung kapulisan din natin ay naghahanda rin kaya ginagawa natin ng mga simulation exercise regarding doon nga ma'am sa pag-file ng kandidasi para makapaghanda tayo ma'am kung ano mang ang kung may plano man sila na taguluhan during sa filing of COC ma'am. Yes sir, salamat po sir. Ay tanong ko naman po sir kung uh, mayroon po bang hotline na pwede pong tawagin ng ating mga residente mula sa Southern Leyte in case na may na-witness naman po silang Uh, election-related atrocities sa kanilang lugar. Ayun ah, nga ma'am. Maraming salamat ma'am. No? So meron po tayong hotline ma'am para sa mga nanonood dyan ma'am o nakikinig sa inyong programa ma'am. Yung hotline po natin ma'am dito sa Police Committee Affairs Development Unit uh, 0997-874-1433. Uh, inaulit ko po ma'am 0997-874-1433. At Lahat naman tayo ay meron na mga social media accounts like Facebook. So meron din kaming FB page ma'am. Ito po yung Southern Leyte PPO FB page. And meron din kaming Facebook account na SLPPO Police Kasaligan. Para inaanyanyahan namin yung mga taga Southern Leyte or taga ibang province na may mga informasyon. Uh, feel free po kayo na i-message po kami. dito sa aming mga social media accounts kasi halos lahat naman tayo may mga social media accounts kahit sa ang lupalop or uh, mga uh, malalayong barangay uh, uh, wag po kayong mag atubiling uh, mag uh, communicate or mag share po ng mga informasyon na uh, malaki po nga uh, may tutulong sa ating komunidad maraming salamat po ma'am participate din po sa ating webinar. At syempre, tayo man po ay dadako sa ating Tacloban City Police Office na pinag-represent uh, po ni Police Major Alan Kansi. Sir, good morning, sir. Kamasin po, ma'am. Ah, yes, sir. Ah, sorry po, sir. Asensya uh, na po, sir. sir uh, tayo... For Tacloban City Police... Uh, ay, sige. Sige po, sir. Okay. Uh, for the Global City Police Office, we have strengthened our security preparation on the upcoming uh, 2022 national <clears throat> election without uh, without compromising the health protocol, uh, health standard. Of course, in coordination ito with the Armed Forces of the Philippines and the COMELEC, uh, that we, are, we will be under the COMELEC. And then, other preparations shall be tackled during the activation of GPCC with the COMELEC kung kailan magkakandak ng meeting. And we are assuring the Taklobanon na we will be, be having an orderly and peaceful election. So, for para sa mga lahat, sa lahat ng mga tao, we have a face, Facebook page sa Headquarters DCPO at saka sa tatlong station unit natin ng Tacloban City Police Office and nakapublish yung mga hotline numbers nila not only in social media but also all over the 138 barangays of Tacloban City. Tama po sir. No? Sir, paano naman po yung mga um, uh, CPP NPA related na extortion activities na pwede pong maganap? Uh, or pwede nga gawin laban sa ating mga politiko or mga uh, taong mag-file po ng kandidasi ngayong October? So far, uh, sa Tacloban City, hindi yan ang nangyayari. But we have still, we have the City Mobile Force Company monitoring and uh, conducting security sa mga ganyan. Kasi this is a wide area. Pero... Other uh, related activity, kinakounter natin yan sa information operation at the social media. Yes, sir. Salamat po, sir, sa pag-attend naman po sa ating webinar. Sa ating po mga participants, yes, sir. kung may gusto pa po kayong idagdag, feel free po na 
uh, magtaas po ng kamay para mabigyan po kayo ng airtime sa kung ano ba po ang gusto nyo namang sabihin with regards naman po sa inyong area of responsibility. Ma'am sir, may idadagdag pa po kayo sir? So far... Pagkat ko. Ma'am, yes, yun lang ang pinaka-importante sa isa na nakakalimutan ko ay ang cooperation ng mga mga kumayan yes, sa ating kapitan at sa ating sandatahan lakas ng Pilipinas. Yun po ang pinaka-ihingi natin para sa sigurado talaga ang orderly and peaceful election sa darating na halalan. Yes sir, thank you po sir. At nakakaasa nga po tayo sa pagtutulungan po ng mga mamamayan na sir. Kasama po ang AFP at PNP ay magkakaroon po tayo ng isang maay sa eleksyon. Kailangan nilang po talagang magsabi o inform po ang ating government o ating mga pwersa katulad ng PNP kung may nakita po kayo o napansin na election related atrocities or pangingigil din na extortion na ginagawa naman ng CPP and PNPF ngayong panahon ng eleksyon. Ayan, sir, wala na po ba kayong gustong idagdag, sir? Uh, dahil dyan po, sir, tayo po ay tutungo na sa ating uh, uh, parting message. Wala naman po sa lahat po ng ating attendees. Sir, unahin po natin ulit, sir, ang late provincial police officer. Ma'am, magpapasaw na sa lahat, ma'am. Nagpapasalamat ako sa pag sa amin sa meeting na ito. At uh, may pahayag namin sa publiko yung mga ginagawa ng DTPPO at saka sa darating pang araw na aming gagawin, mga paghahanda. So, yun po, pinagpila po na tumawag sa amin uh, kung ano man po ang may tutulong namin sa DTPPO. Uh, kasi yan talaga ang siyabi ko nga kanina, ang mandato namin ng mga pulis o natin na mapagsilbihan ang mga mamamayan. So, yun po. Yun lang po. Maraming salamat. Yan naman po ay totoo sa Biliran Provincial Police Office. Sir, ano po? Yes, sir. Gaya din po sa we cannot do it alone without the partnership with this the community. Uh, Tuloy lang natin yung magandang relasyon natin sa bawat isa pertaining sa the crime prevention and to maintain the peace and order in the province po. Uh, sir, magkaka problema po ba tayo sa signal, sir? Yes ma'am, yes ma'am, may na po ng signal namin dito. Yes sir, salamat din po sir sa pag-attend po sa ating webinar ngayong araw. At tayo naman po ay tutungo sa Southern Later Provincial Police Office. Sir, good morning sir. Hello ma'am, uh, magandang tanghali po sa lahat ma'am no? at sa yung mga nakikinig ma'am sa programa niyo ma'am. Maraming salamat po sa pag Imbita po sa amin ma'am para makuha po namin ma'am yung mga peace and order situation dito sa Southern Leyte po ma'am at sa lahat ng provinces dito sa Leyte at Piliran. Ayun uh, nga ma'am no, gaya ng sinabi ng iba ng mga provinces na ayun uh, nga ma'am, magtulungan tayo yung AFP, yung PNP at saka yung mga stakeholders natin. Hindi naman tayo magiging epektibo at magprosper kung walang uh, suporta na binibigay sa ating mga mamamayan. Uh, ganoon din ma'am. Uh, ngayong malapit na yung eleksyon, uh, magtulungan po tayo para maging safe and fair election yung 2022. So yun nga ma'am, uh, yung mga nakikinig dyan ma'am na mayroong mga informasyon na yun nga in relation sa CPGs or uh, mga uh, criminal na huwag magatubiling lumapit sa mga malapit na mga police station na magbigay information ma'am sa mga kung may alam sila. Uh, ganoon din ma'am, mag-ingat po tayong lahat 
dahil hindi lang hindi lang uh, CTGs yung kalaban natin pati yung ngayon lalong lalo na sa nasa pandemya po tayo mag-ingat po tayo lahat at God bless at magandang tanghali po ma'am Magandang tanghali din po sa inyo sir at syempre po mula naman sa Tacloban City Police Office Sir, good morning sir uh... Once again, ma'am, good morning. Uh, for Tacloban City Police Office, so together, let us keep Tacloban City safe and secure because crime prevention and public safety is everybody's concern. Thank you and keep safe, everyone. Yes, sir. Salamat po, sir. At syempre, isa na namang productive na umaga ang ating pinagsamahan ngayong araw ng Merkulis. Ngayon, sa linggo na ito. Maraming maraming salamat po sa lahat po ng ating mga participants na nag-attend at nag-present po ng kanilang peace and security updates sa kanilang mga lugar para po malaman ng ating mga kababayan, hindi lang po sa area of responsibility, na, responsibility po natin, pero maging kung saan man po tayo naaabot ng ating programa ngayong umaga. Maraming maraming salamat po sa lahat po ng ating viewers na patuloy pong sumusuporta sa ating programa. Dahil po sa inyo, kami po ay patuloy na maghati ng mga informasyon at balita tungkol sa ginagawang atrocities ng CPP, NPA, NBF sa ating lugar, pagkutulungan ng iba't ibang mga kanay ng gobyerno para maabot ang peace and secure ang peace o at madama ito ng ating mga kababayan. At kaya rin po ang dahilan kung ba't patuloy po kami nga Nagising araw man o gabi para kayo po ay makatulog ng maayos at madaman niyo po ang security sa inyong mga kabahayan. Maraming maraming salamat po at patuloy niyo po kaming suportahan sa panonood po ng kampanaryo tuwing 6.30 naman po ng gabi uh, tuwing araw ng Sabado. Maraming maraming salamat po at uh, magandang tanghali sa ating lahat. Ang bayan ko'y tanging ikaw Pilipinas kong mahal Ang puso ko at buhay man Sa iyo'y ibibigay Tungkulin kong gagampanan Na lagi kang bagli Pantayan, Pilipinas kong hirap Ang bayan ko'y tanging ikaw Pilipinas kong mahal Ang puso ko at buhay man Sa iyo'y ibibigay Nalagi kang paglingkuran Ang laya mo'y papantayan Pilipinas kong hiram Ang laya mo'y papantayan Pilipinas kong hiram